want to take a question, please, from... Oh, uh, we'll take a question from Helen O'Brien, please. Is spying on our allies ever acceptable? This is in the light of uh, Angela Merkel's complaint to President Obama that she was being spied on. And uh, it turns out now that 35, I'm told, according to tomorrow's Guardian, 35 heads of state are being spied on by the Americans. Is it acceptable, Caroline Print? No, I, I don't think it's acceptable to uh, use surveillance in a way which is spying on people who are our allies, who work with us through international organisations, both on defence and on other matters as well. I, I don't think it's acceptable. Why did Labour spy on the G20 participants then in the conference in 2009? Well, I, I'm just saying, I think, where, unless there is a threat... Uh, to our security, I think you have to have a rationale for this. And I don't think sort of just fishing trips for spying in that way is the right thing to do. And our security services, let me say, do a fantastic job for us uh, in all sorts of ways to help keep us safe. But there have to be rules within that and how they operate. And next week, for the first time, uh, the heads of MI5, MI6 and GCHQ are going to give public evidence to the Intelligence Committee at the House of Commons. But there have to be rules around this. Um, and I think it's quite right that Angela Merkel is aggrieved at what she's found what out. What do you think they were trying to find out? That's well, a good question, because the whole rationale for spying, which I think lots of us, or security services, which few would quibble, is to protect our security, stop us being blown up on buses. I think last time I checked, Angela Merkel wasn't likely to exactly. sign up to international terrorism. Neither was, for example, the Mexican president, who was also apparently spied on, and apparently that was actually for industrial uh, espionage, effectively. It was the US spying on them for those reasons. I think there needs to be a wider debate about this. And actually, I think it's welcomed the likes of Edward Snowden, Chelsea Manning, who I think are genuine American heroes. Because what they've done... What they've done is they've shone a light on the dark recesses of power, how extensive this spying is. They've revealed secrets like the fact, for example, some of the outrageous things that have happened in Iraq uh, because of the American occupation. The results, for example, of drone attacks in Pakistan, which are increasing the risk of terrorism, not reducing it. And instead, what we should be doing is instead of having this spying on, on allies, on ordinary people as well, who are law-abiding people going about their own business. We should make sure the security services are accountable, that they don't have this argument, they're protecting our liberty, therefore they can do exactly what oh. they want, and we actually have an accountable security service, and we actually have freedom of information to know exactly okay. the sorts of things they're doing in well, our we... All right, all right. Peter Hitchens. The question was, is spying on our allies ever acceptable? Well, the first problem is that our allies today might be our enemies tomorrow. And also that people, people who appear to be our allies might be our rivals. I think you'll find that an awful lot of intelligence work is commercial mm. yeah. uh, and industrial, not military. And I think that that's where much of it is concentrated. If you don't want to, your country to have that kind of information, then, of course, you can take a moral decision and say we're not going to do it. But what do they want to know about Angela Merkel? I don't know what they want to know about Angela yeah, What would you I, want I, to know I, about what would I, Angela Merkel? Actually, there's almost nothing I want to know about Angela Merkel, <laughs> <laughs> except how on earth it was that her family came to move to East Germany, which has always puzzled me but, um, when everybody else is trying to get out. But, but le le leaving that aside, only her, tapping her telephone is going to discover that. Um, um, I, I think it's much more worrying that not the, the politicians who ought, I think, reasonably to assume that somebody is probably trying to tap their telephones all the time anyway, mm. uh, not the politicians having their telephones tapped, but that ordinary uh, citizens are having their telephones tapped and their emails registered and read by people who have no business doing so. That does outrage me. OK. Man in the check shirt there. Now, when the journalists were found to have hacked into the phones of politicians like John Prescott, they were hung, drawn and quartered. Regulation was bandied round. Everybody went to town on them. I agree that what they did was completely wrong <clears throat> and it was overreaching to the nth degree. But why should we feel any different when politicians are the victims than when the general public are the victims and it's the politicians who are actually initiating it? Okay. Okay, Liz, do you think the politicians are initiating in the sense that he means, agreeing to it, planning? Well, well, in this country, any activity of that kind, surveillance activity, ultimately has to be signed off by the Foreign Secretary and the Home Secretary, and I think that's right, because it is um, 
you know, a very important matter. So when I we mean, spied on the G20 participants, that had been agreed by Labour's Home Secretary? Well, that's certainly the case under our government, that it does have to have senior level sign-off within government. I mean, I think the difficulty here is we're dealing with a much more complex world than we were in the Cold War, where it was clear who the enemies were and where they were. Now we have terrorist networks embedded in our own country, embedded in other countries. It may be somebody who looks entirely innocent. And I'm very worried about the way that GCHQ operates being exposed in public so those terrorists find out about the, the nature of the surveillance that's going on. I mean, we, we now have a much more open world. Technology makes it much easier to share secrets. It's much easier to get those things out. And our law enforcement agencies do, I think, have to have the power to be able to deal with those threats as they arise. But Otherwise, do, do, we will all they, be in serious danger. Do, do, they do, Otherwise, some of the things... do they do themselves any service by tapping... So I'm Merkel's absolutely not defending telephone. Angela Merkel's telephone being tapped. And right. I have to say, if anyone tapped the Your telephones telephone. at the Department of Education, they wouldn't find anything more interesting than what's in the new mass GCSE. Of state. These are not terrorists. Terrorism is being used as a pretext to do this. You're talking about the Brazilian Prime Minister, the head of Germany, you know. I'm not, I'm not defending <coughs> heads of state's telephones being tapped. What I'm doing is responding to Owen's point about the secrets being put out in the public domain about how we find out about these activities. Okay, because exactly. we are in serious danger from very worrying terrorist We're also networks. also in danger of having our hard-won liberties and freedoms, which our ancestors fought for at great cost and sacrifice, being taken away from us using the pretest of terrorism. Yeah. We right. must not let that happen. The man, man in the red shirt there. And then I'll come to you. Man in the red shirt there. It's about time our government started standing up for the people of this country that are banding and standing backwards for the Americans all the time. Every time we listen to the government, we've got the same rubbish all the time. We need to start standing up to the Americans, start, like, fighting back, and stop cutting our armed forces as well. OK. And you, sir, here. To expand on what the gentleman said up there, I'm quite worried about how long until the EU countries start pointing the finger at us. It's been known for a while that GCHQ has a close working relationship with the NSA, so... We don't know how far they're going. I mean, it's in all likelihood this is happening. Tim Farron? Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I don't know why Angela Merkel uh, moved to East Germany. Maybe she's a, uh, another, a, another, parents, another, a another, another former communist who moved to the right. It I don't was, know. It, um, but, it, but, the, 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 but the point is, this was not just intelligence gathering. This is tapping the phone of a friendly head of state. Now, let's just ignore for a moment, and I'll come to the civil liberties issue in a minute, how utterly stupid is that? And whatever gain the US thought they might get from this was always going to be completely outweighed by the damage it has done to the diplomatic relations between two very, very important countries. The post-war effort through the European Union, through NATO, the United Nations, G8, G20 more recently, in bringing countries together, sharing interests to make sure that we don't go to war again, is undermined by stupid, reckless decisions like this. And it forms part of a culture that runs through certainly the US administration and has run through the administration before this one in this country, where we think people's civil liberties are not as important as whatever the agenda of the the political leads of the day happen to be. Okay. I, take, I take a couple more points and then we we'll go to another question. The man in spectacles oh, there. Yeah. I think when you get into the realm of uh, spying, um, I, think, I think we're fooling ourselves that we think this is the first time that allies have spied on allies. Yes. Mm. I'm pretty sure that the right. British spied on the Americans before they came into the Second World War. Uh, I can't quote anything or clarify that. But I just think once you get into the realms of sort of spying, well, yeah, um, it's just spies will be spies. And that is, not to, that is not to kind of give an excuse to them, but I'm just saying once you get into that, you know, they've got all this technology. I think they've been greedy. They're sport for choice. And they've tapped Angela Merkel's phone because they can simply, you know. Okay. And this is going to fall, fall back on them. It's going to blow back on them now. OK. And the man in the check chat there with uh, I think any time you sacrifice liberty for security, it's a recipe for disaster, flat out. Any um, time you sacrifice what, sorry? Liberty for security. Yeah. And, like the other people were saying with the spying going on, it's just been going on for years, and it, the only difference is now that you're telling us about it. 